Okay, Oak Grovers, this is a video on Math Standard 7.4.3.3 on your MCA3 test prep packet, and the standard reads like this. Use proportional reasoning to draw conclusions about and predict relative frequencies of outcomes based on probabilities. So number one looks like this. It says, use a spinner below to answer parts A and B. And part A says, if you spin the spinner 200 times, how many times do you expect to land on a factor of 15? So first of all, let's list the factors of 15. My factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now there's eight parts on that spinner, and there's a 1, a 3, and a 5. And that's the, those are the only factors I have of 15 on that spinner. So I have 3 out of 8, these 3, that are factors of 15. The other 5 are not factors of 15. So I have a 3 is chance of getting a factor of 15. Now if I spin that spinner 200 times, the way I find out how many times I'd expect to get it is I multiply my probability by 200, okay, which is the same as 201. So, if I'm trying to figure out how many times I do that, I'm multiplying two fractions, 3 eighths times 200 over 1. Well, let's reduce it before I multiply. So, 8 and 200, there is a, a, they're both even, so I can divide them both by 2. 200 becomes 100. 8 becomes 4. Again, they're both even, so I can divide them again by 2. And I get 50 and 2. And again, they're both even, so I can divide them again by 2. I get 25 and 1. Now if I multiply my two fractions, 3 times 25 is 75. 1 times 1 is 1. So my answer for that is just going to be 75. Okay, let's go on to the next one. If, the spinner, spinner is sp if you spin the spinner 50 times, how many times do you expect to land on an even number? Well, there's four even numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 8. So I have 4 eighths chance to get an even number. And if I multiply that by 50, it's really 1 half times 50, because I can reduce this to 1 half. And if I can reduce this again, I can uh, reduce over here. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I really should expect it half the time, or 25 times, to get an even number for number part B. Okay? Number 2. Qual uh, the quality control co company found that point zero. 64% of a certain shipment was defective. If the shipment contained 23,865 pieces, how many pieces were defective? So for this one, I've got to change that percent to a decimal. Now it already looks like a decimal, but I've got to change it even further to a decimal. And the way I change percents to a decimal is by moving the, moving the decimal point over two more spots to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.00064, and I'm going to multiply that by 23,865. So let me get my calculator here and multiply that. So let's see here. 0 0.00064 times 23,865 equals, and if I multiply that out, I get 15.27. So the answer for this one is going to be, what, what number is that closest to? It's really closest to 15 pieces because it's 15.27. So about 15 pieces I'd expect to be defective for that one. Okay, let's go on to number three. If you roll a fair number cube 42 times, how many times do you expect to get, roll a two? Well, there's uh, one sixth chance of getting a two. And if I multiply that by 42, now I can just multiply the fractions. And I can reduce this before I multiply. Uh, 42 and 6, they both are divided by 6. And I end up getting 7 over 1. So 7 is the answer for that problem. I'm going to go to the back side of this worksheet. Number 4, the school is having a drawing to win 10 MP3 players. If 15 boys and 25 girls entered, about how many winners would you expect to be girls? So I have 40 students, 15 boys and 25 girls. So I have 25 out of 40. 
And I want to figure out how many out of the 10 that is. That's equal to how many out of 10. Okay? So I can divide 40 divided by 10 by 4 is equal to 10. So if I take 25 and divide that by 4, I'm going to get uh, about 6.25. So the answer for that one is going to be B or 6. Okay, let's go on to number 5. A bag contains two blue marbles and two yellow marbles. If you pick one marble 12 times from the bag, how many times would you expect to get a yellow marble? Okay, so I'm doing it 12 times. So I have four marbles total, and two of them are yellow, so I have a two out of four chance to get a yellow marble. And I'm going to do this 12 times, so I'm going to multiply it by 12 over 1. Now I can reduce it. Uh, I have a 4 and a 12. They both can divide by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now I can multiply the top and the bottom. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. So my answer is 6 for that. So I get letter C for that one also. And I have 3 more to do. If you pick a card at random 26 times from a standard deck of cards, how many times would you expect to get an ace or a heart? Well, I need to know how many hearts there are. And there's going to be an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and king of hearts. So those are all the different hearts. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's 13 hearts. And actually, since there's 13 hearts, there's 13 of every suit. 13 times 4, because there's 4 suits. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. There's 52 different cards in the deck. There's 13 hearts. But there's also, I could, I could also uh, need to get an ace. And there's three other aces. There's the ace of spades. There's the ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds. So I have 13 hearts and then the ace of spades, clubs, and diamonds. I'm not going to count the ace of hearts because I already counted that from the, 13, from the 13 hearts. So I have 13, 14, 15, or 16. So I have a 16 chance out of 52. Okay? Now... If I wanted to even reduce that, I could if I wanted to. Uh, well, i actually doing this 26 times. The cool thing is they're both even. Both of these numbers are even, so I can reduce these or divide them both by 2. 20, 52 divided by 2 is going to be 26. 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8. So I'd expect an 8 out of 26 times. So for that one, I'm going to pick letter C. Okay? And that's a little bit, that's one way you could do it. There's other ways that you could do it. But I it kind of worked out kind of neatly because 26 is half the number of cards in the deck. So I just took half the number of cards that were aces or hearts in a deck of 52 and I got my answer, which is 8, which is half of 16. Okay, we're going to go up to number 7. A class contains 12 boys and 18 girls. The teacher calls on students at random to answer the question. If a teacher asks 90 questions, how many times do you expect a girl to be called upon? So right now it's a part-to-part -part ratio. I have 12 boys to 18 girls. I want a part-to-whole ratio where I have the number of girls. I want to have the number of girls to the total number of students. I want to write a ratio like that. Now I know that there's 18 girls, and 18 and 12 is 30 out of 30 students. So I know that 18 out of 30 are girls. Now if I ask that 90 times, I want to figure out how many times out of 90 I'd expect that uh, a girl is called on. Well the cool thing about this, it works out really nice. I can multiply 30 times 3 to get 90. So I'll take 18 times 3 to get my answer. And 18 times 3 24, carry the 2, turns out to be 54. So my answer for this one is going to be 54. And I only have one more problem left to do. 
So let's see what this one looks like. Each night, a dinner table is randomly seated with five, is randomly set with five red forks, three blue forks, and seven green forks. If you sit, if you eat, eat at this table 30 nights, how many times would you expect a red fork? So if I add up all my forks, I have three plus five plus seven. If I add those up, 12, I get 15 different forks I could get. So how many are red out of those 15? Uh, because that's what I'm trying to figure out, how many red forks I get. Five are red out of a total of 15. Now if I do this 30 times, how many times would I expect to get a red fork? Well, it works out really neatly also in this one. I can just multiply 15 times two and five times two, and I'll get 10 for that answer. So the answer, so the answer for number eight is gonna be B. And that is the video on how to do problems from math standards 7.4.3.3.